Hey, it's Jay. <laughs> and today we're going to be doing a in-depth review of the Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack. Go crazy, ah, 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 go stupid, ah, go crazy, go stupid. Ah. Currently the game sells for $10 American plus tax. Um, for me, it came out to $14.68 Canadian. And this pack in particular was a community voted pack. So for the past year, I believe, um, we've been voting on different quizzes, picking out items, choosing what overall theme we wanted. And this was the pack that came out of it. So I will be breaking up the review today into three different sections. First, we have create a sim, then we have build mode, and then we have gameplay. And then at the end, I will give my final views and opinions. But let's just jump into it. it sounded like Philip Franco there. Let's just jump into it. But first we have Creative Sim. And one thing to note, there are no new traits that come with this pack, which it's a stuff pack. It's up to you to, to decide how important that is for you. I wish we had more traits and I wish the traits did more and we, I wish we had more slots for traits in regards to adults. But we also got one aspiration, which is like some of the other aspirations that come with some of the different packs, basically walks you through it, shows you all the different things you can do with this pack, which again, I understand because it's a stuff pack um, and it's kind of up to you on your personal opinion on how you feel about that, whether or not you miss the full story aspirations that come more with sims 3 and sims 2 or if you're okay with this like kind of walkthrough to teach you how to use the pack and everything like that Ooh, like falling down so as for options clothing hair and everything there are one two three four new hairs for feminine sims um the style is kind of strange there's one really old-fashioned one and then the other ones are very modern short crew cut styles crew cut i don't know if it's crew cut's the right word but short style hair. And I like them. Again, the style just all together doesn't seem like cohesive for me, but that's fine. I like all of them, so. The masculine hairs are just the two shorter feminine hairs. They don't have anything new specifically for masculine style. As for clothes, I like them. I like them. There's not a lot to stuff pack. A lot of the stuff you have to make anyways, um, just through the knitting skill and you unlock them as you make them. I like the jeans, the feminine jeans, that you can either get just the jeans or you can get the jeans with like the little pearls on them, so you can just, or beads, I guess. So you can decide kind of which you want. I like that. I like the idea of starting with like the ones without the beads and then like having them gain skill and switching over like they made them themselves, DIY style. So I like those, I think those are cool. I like the colors on them. Those are nice jeans. The shirts are okay. They're not really my style personally, but they're cute. They, they fit the style, they fit like the pack. I'm okay with it. The masculine shirts, however, they're two jumpers. I think they're both sweaters. I love them. No, one's a jacket, one's a jumper. I love them. Ooh, I will use them all the time. I think they're some of the nicest masculine clothes we got in a while, so I really, really like them. I think that's good. Um, kids don't have anything. <laughs> you could, again, you can make kids stuff as you gain the knitting skill so that's all right i guess but i think it's just kind of an oversight to not give them anything like i think i don't know it's tough because i feel like if you're not going to give kids or toddlers well to toddlers have one dress that they can wear but if you're basically not going to give kids or toddlers anything like don't give anyone anything and have it just all be like makeable items or craftable items so yes the toddlers have one dress but the toddler dress, now, it's maybe an unpopular opinion, but the toddler dress looks a lot like the base game toddler dress. That's what I'll say on that. That's where I'm gonna leave creative sim. <laughs> So the build-by mode, the items were voted on in those community quizzes and everything like that. They're nice. I like them. The overall view of the items is I like them in conjunction with the gameplay. I think if you are a full-fledged builder, you never play legacies, you never play families, then this pack probably isn't for you. 
if I was just looking for a pack to build with, I would not buy this pack. I feel like that's because this pack is focused more on the gameplay aspect of it. Um, so if you are just looking for build items, this probably is it for you. They're very stylized, which I think can be fun in a sim, you're like your Nana's room or your mom's room in the Sims. But if you're just like building a generic house or building homes, it probably isn't worth it for the items. I personally don't think. One thing I will say is I love the desk and the table that conjoins and becomes one object. I think that's really wicked and I hope that they continue to do that with future packs. All the build items, I believe when I counted them, there are 19 and if you include the desk and the table together, then there's 20. Um, that doesn't include knittables, so you can knit like mailbox covers, which creates like a different mailbox, um, hanging plants, believe decorations, so like that kind of stuff doesn't come in the catalog right away. You can use cheats, show hidden objects to get those, but if we're just talking about what comes in the catalog, build-wise, there's 19 slash 20. I saw some people had some issues on the color swatches. My view on that is The Sims 4 as a whole has a color swatch issue, and I don't know if we can blame that on this pack. This far into the game, nothing is going to change. Like, they can't go back and change all the wood tones that don't match each other, all the different shades of whites, all the different shades of blacks. Like, that's not going to happen. Hopefully, if we keep talking about this in Sims 5, they'll fix that and figure out a way to deal with that. With this pack, it's kind of hard to be like, None of the swatch matches because it's Sims 4, none of the swatch matches, period. And that's everything I have to say on the build mode items. So next we're jumping in to the overall gameplay. And I love it. I love it. I feel like it's so much fun now that your Sims can have a hobby that you don't just make for them like the game is giving you a hobby. I think that's so much fun. I feel like a lot of players complain that they have to come up with the story themselves with no help from The Sims. Like in Sims 3, your Sims kind of created like a life of their own and you kind of like, sometimes you could help shape that, but it was fun just to see what your Sim would turn out to be. So I feel like little things like this where my Sim will autonomously knit. A lot, mind you. I hope they like bless in that because she'll just like knit every moment. But now that she can just like knit because she wants to, I find that so, so much fun. So the animations for knitting, I think are super cute. Um, I've honestly, like after I recorded this and then started playing with my legacy and had her knit as well, sometimes I just watched her knit. I really like just watching it. Um, so I think that um, animation is super cute. Super cute. I like that you can make knitted gifts for your family members. Like you have a toddler or a baby and you knit like your toddler clothes. Ugh. Just like more family as like aspect stuff is what I want. It makes legacy so much better and easier to do. So the things you can do once you knit items is you can um, destroy them and you get some of your simoleons back and it's just you reuse the wool when you knit your next thing. Um, you can donate to charity and after you send it off to the charity you'll get a good mood lit about it and then you'll also get a message from the charity basically thanking you for sending them the item. And you can gift your items to family members, friends, people on the lots, and then they can either like it or not, and then you get moodlets depending on that. My sim gifted this child a hat, and the child hated it. And that like internal screaming moodlet, I laughed aloud at that. I love that entire moodlet. The description of it is perfect. Oh my god, I love it so much. And then you can upload it to Plopsy. Now what's Plopsy? Plopsy is the Sims for Etsy basically. So you can upload goods that you make and it's not limited to, I wanted to find this out, not limited to the pack, which is amazing. So you can make like a sculpture on the woodworking table, upload that to Plopsy. Um, I didn't check it with paintings, but I'm pretty sure you can. It seems like any craftables that you can put in your little inventory, you can upload to Plopsy. And honestly, if Plopsy was the selling point of the pack, I would have bought it. I think it's just like a little hobby thing, a little add-on to what your sims can do. So this isn't a career and I don't think you could make it a career. It takes a while to get your stuff sold and occasionally you won't and then it'll time out and you'll get the item back. So that's something to keep in mind and when it does sell, like I think it took me three days after crafting to sell my first item. 
and the money you get on that item is not enough to make it a career it's just a hobby type of deal which i think is fine i really like plopsy i think it's a really good addition to the game i think it's something we don't really have yet and then like all the there's so much detail in it like all the users names and comments that you get on your items and sometimes you'll send the items and they won't like it that's anything that's like story based or that is effort into gameplay i'm sold for especially when it comes to sims 4. so overall would i recommend this pack absolutely, absolutely. if you play any kind of family legacies anything like that if you enjoy gameplay then yes, absolutely get this pack. I think it adds so much to the game in such like a little way. Like this pack is $10, 15 if you're Canadian, <laughs> but for $15, I think it really added a lot. Like it doesn't feel like a stuff pack. Like I would believe it if they said this was a game pack. I think that's a telling of a good pack. I think also The Sims in general is a very aesthetic game. It's about making the aesthetic of something very nice, like the perfect family and the perfect home. And I think a lot of times because of that, the gameplay aspect gets left behind. And I think this pack went into the right direction of putting the gameplay first. And I hope that the future packs that come out follow a similar pattern because I really do like it. I'm really pleased with this pack. I would highly recommend it. And I think it was really cool that this game was voted on. I think that's awesome. I think that adds a whole other level to the entire game. And I think that's probably why it was more gameplay focused. I feel like so many simmers are like wanting a gameplay focused pack that it wouldn't make sense for it to just be like a regular stuff pack. So. Yeah. So those were my thoughts on the Sims 4 Nifty Knitting Stuff Pack. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like and subscribe. I post new videos every Thursday and Saturday. This Saturday, I will be going over my five basic rules to start building in The Sims 4 and get better at it. Um, that being said, I am moving on Saturday as well. I'm hoping to have the video done and edited before and have it scheduled for Saturday. So the Saturday video should be fine, uploaded perfectly. But on next Thursday, my internet doesn't get set up until Wednesday. So I'm hoping I can edit the video that Wednesday and have it posted for Thursday. But should something happen with my internet, there might not be a video next Thursday, which I'm very stressed out about. <laughs> but I will keep you guys posted. If you want any updates, you can follow my Instagram at The Mix Sims. Um, all that stuff will be in the description below. But yes, on Saturday, we will be going over some building tips. So I hope to see you then. Bye.